Well, I've been cutting and grinding mostly uh, this morning. I'm, I'm, I'm grinding things after having cut them. And I can only stand in front of a grinder so long and, and my back kills me. So I've been doing this. I actually started yesterday afternoon doing some of this. I can only do so many at a time. And then I got to do something else or my back just kills me. So here's what we're using for the bed lift. These will be the rails. And uh, these are a uh, powder coated steel. The ones I used on the, the roof for my um, solar panels are aluminum. Boy, let me tell you, same dimensions, but what a, what a difference. Oh, maybe those were shorter, foot short. Anyway, huge difference in weight is what I'm getting at. So, this is a five foot long channel, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. Because I'm only going to go down to bench height and then up to ceiling height. And uh, so five foot fits the bill. Then this is the cart or whatever you want to call it that will be used to support the bed. And this runs up and down. And this, of course, instead of this laying horizontally, but on the workbench, it will be vertical against the wall. And so the bed frame is going to bolt here, and my cable, I'll drill another hole, my cable is going to pull here. Now the trick with doing something like this, and I've seen a lot of people do different bed lift stuff, and I've seen some interesting <laughs> designs and so forth. Mine's going to be a cable set up, and it's going to be such that when the bed is in the up position, you're not going to know how it works. Nothing will show at that point. When it's in the down position, you will see a cable. And the cable will be just, just slightly above the, the opening of this, this track. And, and we'll attach there. The trick is, when using these cables and pulleys, is alignment. You don't want things pulling uh, against the pulley. Let me go grab a, a pulley and kind of show you what I'm talking about. If I start putting this in the trailer, I'll, 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 I'll show you and it'll make more sense then. But basically what's going to happen is the, um, there's going to be a piece that's going to mount. And this is not the piece. This is a piece of angle I grabbed. But the pulley is going to sit on a piece as such, and you want where the cable comes around this pulley to go right down the center of this. So you can't put it one way or the other. It's got to be straight down the center. So it's pulling this perfectly vertically, not pulling it at an angle one way or the other. Okay, And then where you have another pulley, you want these to be in line with one another. can't be offset so it's pulling, your cable's pulling on the, you know, wearing against the edge of the pulleys. They need to be in alignment. Okay? And you'll see as I go forward, I'm going to have a point where I'm going to have some pulleys side by side. And they're going to be stacked like this because we're going to come off of this track and go to the back of the trailer if this was the front one say on the sink side so it's going to come up and, and, and turn this way but when we get to the end of the trailer we're going to turn and go towards the center of the trailer at that point we're going to have two tracks the front most and the rear one and those two cables are going to run just slightly off one another because I'm going to place this pulley differently on both of them. It's going to be pulling the center here, but the height will be different. 
and the difference in the height will be this dimension from the center of one pulley to the center of the other pulley. So those cables come in here just perfect. They're coming around and they go to the center, they're going to another set of pulleys, which heights will be slightly off and then it's going to go down. And it's going to go to a truck. And you'll see all that, and that's where I'll have my adjustments and everything on that truck, which will then go down around a single pulley that's going to pull that truck, and that goes to the winch. So anyway, that's kind of an explanation of the big picture. Don't expect you to be able to follow it at this point. So the other thing that I'm doing, and it's back to the wall, is that I'm, I'm going to have brackets like this. So these would be at the bottom of the guide or channel. I keep forgetting what they have to call the thing. Anyway, channel, I guess. And so these are going to be bolted to the wall and then to the channel. And what I'm going to do at this point is I got to figure out where this is going to go, distance from the rear wall, and then it's got to be, you know, these have to be parallel to one another. All four of these have to be, you know, parallel to one another. So get all that dialed in, and at the, uh, the top end up here, let me slide this down. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. At the top end, I'm going to have a scenario like this, if I can remember how I'm doing it, like this. Yeah, okay. So I've got two brackets that will bolt to the top of the channel, they'll bolt to the wall, and at the same time that bolts this one in and then I'm going to have this piece bolted to that and that's the one that has my bite on. And the reason I had to do all this was because of where this pulley has to fall and everything it needs to be in a location that uh, the bolt goes through and doesn't you know I couldn't go straight on here because it, the bolt's going to be in the way of, of, of this. And um, I didn't want to cut and notch that and everything, so I'm going to go with this. And this then allows me to be adjustable up and down and, uh, and left and right. So that's what it's going to be. So anyway, you might want to wonder why am I doing all this? Well, there's two pieces of plywood <laughs> on this wall. And so I could put the wall in and anchor to the plywood somehow. And there's lots of different wood anchoring methods. But I kind of go with overkill. So I'm actually going to put through bolts through these brackets and bolt this thing to the wall. Then once I've got all that dialed in, it's all be on the on the wall, I can lift this out, remove those bolts, lift that out, and then, you know, because I'm just going to be able to drill holes first, put bolts through and hold it in place, but I won't be able to put nets on the end. So then remove that wall, and at the same time I'll measure my cutouts, so when I remove the wall, I can put the wall in place to get the cutouts for the windows, so that's what the, the wall has to go in for that. And at the same time, I'm going to do all my track layout, remove those from the wall, mount my mounting system to the wall, cut the windows out of the wall, and then put everything back in. I'll be able to put the windows in at that point, put my channel back in. Bolt it, in, bolt it in place. Actually, it goes like this. I showed it wrong. Yeah, it's going to be like this. You want it so that I want to be able to pull this up pretty high. I got to come within 
uh, approximately 10 inches of the ceiling. I'm having, using a 10 inch mattress. So 10 to 12 inches is where it'll be setting. So anyway, that's what I'm doing and why. And I'll show you a little bit of the progress as I'm doing it. I just cut away to do this because I'm trying to move around a little bit and let my back uh, quit seizing up so I can finish grinding. I've only got four more of these to do. And then what I'm going to do after those are done, I'm going to set all this up on the workbench. So this will all be cut and everything. The holes will be here and everything. So I have to put it in the trailer, do the alignment, drill the holes into the wall, and do what I said. I think that's enough yakking for now. I'll come back when I got something more interesting to show you, hopefully. What I want to kind of share with you right now is the part of the bed lift system. This is the channel that will run on the wall vertically. I've got it laying in the bed of my doka right now, so it's laying horizontally. But this will go on the wall. It will be bolted to the wall top and bottom. And then the channel, once I get this aligned exactly where it goes on the wall, the, uh, you know, I'll drill the holes and then the wall will be removed because I'm going to cut out the window hole and the inside of the window, that ring is a little bit larger diameter than the outside. And you could make them the same because there's quite a bit of a uh, flange on the outside of that window, but I, I made mine tight um, inside and out. But anyway, the, um, the wall's going to come out to cut the window opening and uh, to bolt this bracket onto the wall. Only the bracket. The channel will be removed. And since there's two pieces of plywood, if you picture the inside, there's, there's, there's two sheets that run uh, horizontally. And so the upper and lower mountings will actually be on two different pieces of plywood. And, you know, I've seen other people where they go right through the channel, through a, a slotted channel. Um, I'm doing mine differently. I just wanted more stability instead of just being one anchor point like this in the center. I'm spreading out going two anchor points. And then, so there's a, you know, the track. This channel, and there's a, 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 a slider or whatever you call it that runs inside this channel. And this is going to come up here and the cable comes up and around this and will go off to this piece here. So these aren't in the proper orientation. Just, I just laid these things out here for um, a, a visual um, example. So cable runs across the pulley. The pulley is offset as you can see maybe from that angle, I don't know, but anyway. It's sort of the cable is centered, comes around this. And because there's two of these on the wall, one closer to the front than the other, these pulleys will be offset this same distance right here, as it is from the center top pulley to bottom pulley. So the pulley that's coming from the front will run above the uh, one that's closer to the rear. And so it will go in this upper pulley and the one that's closer, the rear one, will go in this lower pulley. So we're going to have two cables going in the same plane, but they'll, um, in, in one plane, but in different planes uh, in, in a vertical sense in this case. Now, let me slide this down. In the center then, of the, of, of the trailer is this. 
And again, this one is aligned with the lower pulley out at the end. And this is aligned with the upper pulley. So again, the cables come in and they're just three eighths of an inch difference between those cables. And then they come down right here. This is where they'll go down and they're going to, you know, this is where they go vertically because this sits in the trailer kind of like this. Actually, this is still backwards. This will be towards the back of the trailer. You won't see it. But, but anyway, it, 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 it sits like this, just like the glide sits like this or the channel sits like this. So these will then be cables will be going down and they go down to what I call a truck. And so all the cables then will connect to these type of things which um, are extra, you know, I got the nut in about the halfway position so I can lengthen or shorten the cables as need be to get the tensions all exact. Because in order to pull that and to, you know, lock the cable in place and everything and get it right on, probably, I'm not going to do it first. <laughs> so this allows adjustment, okay? And then this piece, on the bottom is where the winch is going to, I'm sorry, I guess I'll get this, this piece on the bottom is where the winch will connect. And so, you know, this, this will be, again, vertical like this. And again, this will be facing the front. This will be rear. And all this is going to be encased in a box, so you won't see this thing in the trailer anyway. And when we get to that point, I'll share that with you. But anyway, this is going to be pulling down with the winch. The winch is actually going to be mounted in, in under one of the uh, seating areas. And so right next, uh, within an inch of the back wall is going to be these cables. And goes down to the winch, goes around the pulley and to the actual winch. So the winch is going to be mounted like this. The cable goes out, makes a 90 comes up and connects to here. These cables go up, run through these pulleys, two go one direction, two go the other direction, and one goes to the front um, channel, one goes to the rear channel on the bed. And these will be at the corners of the bed. So all the cables will be traveling the same distance, even though they'll be different lengths. And it should raise the bed and lower the bed exactly. Each corner exactly the same. So, of course, that remains to be seen. This is my first rodeo. <laughs> I haven't done this before. And uh, there's been a few things that I've done that my brain had it pictured one way. And when I went to do it, I was like, mm, yeah, I think I'm going to do it differently. So, we're still in the process. I just wanted to give you... Um, I, I keep talking about this, give you a little more insights as to what I'm trying to describe verbally, let you see it visually. And, uh, and when it's in the trailer, it, it'll start, start to make more sense. Although it's going to be harder to see in the trailer. That's why I showed you sitting out here um, because it's going to be tucked up against the back wall. Like I said, everything's going to be tight because I don't want cables running all over where you can see them. And when the bed is up, there won't be anything that shows. None of the mechanics show except for these channels, which if you had, you know, deeper walls and so forth, you could recess in the wall and, and this would be flush with the wall. Um, can't really do that on this trailer because the walls aren't that thick and, and the way the superstructure is so forth. I'm, I'm adding to the trailer. I'm not totally redesigning the trailer. So that really wasn't a, uh, a viable option in this case. In the perfect world, that's the way I do it. These would disappear. But like I said, these are powder coated white. This will be disassembled. All the bracketry will be white. The walls are going to be white. So hopefully it all blends in and, and somewhat disappears. Um, I think that's it for now. This is the rear of the trailer. Uh, I can't put the door down all the way because it hits the 
the tongue jack on the uh, car trailer behind it. That's what that pad is right there so that I don't dimple the aluminum. And then that 2x4 going across with the tie down strap, that's to keep the door from coming open because I removed the plywood and the spring on the other side. What I want you to take note is that I was planning on putting went two windows in the rear of the ramp here and these screws are all on two foot centers so I'm assuming no problems same as the two foot centers on the sides okay but guess what once I pulled the plywood off the ramp you realize that these really uh, they're off because they added a double piece onto the area kind of where you would maybe have the wheels of a vehicle or something they put extra support out there so what happens is it throws the dimensions off to where this isn't quite The, the, the two feet went from this one to this one. But because the extra one here, this isn't a two foot opening. Okay, it's not the 22 inches required for my window. And, uh, and so that threw me off and I, I don't want the two windows right here dead center. Um, you know, I could remove this piece and and uh, put another support in there and do all that I don't think I want to go through the hassle of doing that um, I mean that would be an option the other option is you know uh, just go with the four windows and not have the two on the back my wife thinks that's a better idea, a little more stealthy, but um, I don't know. Verdict's still out on that, but it's interesting. You don't know these things until you, um, you know, take them apart. And they had big old chunks of plywood, multi layers of plywood right here. This is where the latches are on the outside. That's why I'm not using the latches to pull this together because I want to pull against this and. This is just sitting here temporary right now. Um, but I got away from the big old chunks of plywood. I'm going to go with these 2x4s because I can insulate around them easier. And I'm not going to be using the, the, the ramp. It is a little heavy. I was surprised at uh, how heavy it was just with the frame and skin. And I was only lifting it from where it was sitting on the tongue jack of the car trailer. So it was at about a 45. <laughs> it was still pretty heavy. So a dead lift may be more than I want to ever do. But the only thing I'll be using this ramp for will be when I load in my cabinets. Uh, the, I'm buying, you know, pre-made cabinets. And so they won't come in through the side door. They're going to have to come in through the um, back here. And to do that, I got to pull the trailer out so I can put the ramp all the way down and so forth. So when I get to that, I'll do that. Of course, I'll have this insulated and um, the um, plywood on it. And instead of the three-quarter inch plywood, crappy plywood that they had on there, I'm going with the, the half inch that I'm using on the walls. So uh, that's kind of the status on that. The other is... We got rid of the spring mechanism okay that protruded down and out into the space here I just didn't like you know that deal with that and so my cross member that I showed you with the bed mechanism so you know the bed will be those channels will be vertical on the wall goes up here to that pulley at the top here the pulley will go around goes the cable goes that 
double stack I showed you. Turns, comes across, goes to center, and then they drop down. And as I had mentioned early on, I think probably the first video, there will be a U-shaped, you know, dining seating area in the back here. And in the center is where the winch will be and the winch cable will go up and this, those cables will be housed in a little box that will only be off a couple inches from the, the wall and all that will be housed in there. It won't be seen and then the cables go up and they're really tucked up high here next to the, the ceiling so not going to really be seen. So that's kind of where I am. I got the wall on over here. Um, so I got to cut out the windows like I mentioned. Using my template, I put the template in the holes that I cut in the body of the trailer. And I used my centering hole uh, to drill these holes. So now I know where the center is for the, uh, the windows. I'm going to move my template back to this side and use that template to hold the, the frame that goes in here and I will then trace that frame after these are, you know, the templates put in place and, and adjusted correctly vertically. So those are my two holes for that. So you can see you get a lot of mileage out of the template. And, um, but I'll show you that when I get it done. So like I said, so the wall will come out um, to do that after I drill the mounting for the uh, bed channels. That's coming up next. Figure out exactly where those need to be and and make sure they're nice and vertical and they got to be parallel to one another. You know, everything has to track perfectly. We'll see if I can do that.